Students will count and represent the numbers 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15 using linking cubes, pictorial representations, and double 10 frames. This is the beginning of students understanding these values are composed of a 10 and some more. Begin by presenting values from 11 to 15 in picture form. Using a picture card that represents a value such as 13, use two different colored counters to cover each object. One color will be used to count up to 10, and a second color will be used for the remaining objects. Count and represent each quantity as students count forward by ones. One, two, three, four, etc. As students count forward by ones, begin to emphasize how we can actually start with the value of 10 and count on the remaining quantity. 10, 11, 12, 13. Also, remove each object one at a time to practice counting backward by ones. 13, 12, 11, 10, etc. We can also count and represent our objects by organizing them on a double 10 frame and applying what we know about 10 to determine our total quantity. A double 10 frame helps us to count and represent values more easily as the objects are in an organized arrangement. Use the same set of counters and transfer them onto a double 10 frame. While we can count one by one, one, two, three, etc. We could also recognize that if the first 10 frame is completely full, this represents 10 and we can count on the quantity represented in the second 10 frame. 10, 11, 12, 13. This quantity can also be represented by shading in the double 10 frame. Incorporate counting backward by using the counters and removing them one at a time. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, etc.